All right. It looks like um, it looks like I'm live. This is always that awkward pause, that awkward moment when I'm waiting for things to fire up. Looks like Ron's here. So there's a notification that's gone out. It looks like I'm live. That's wonderful. If you can um, see and hear me, let me know. If you're having any issues, please let me know in the chat. Tim, April, Richard, P. Rich. It's like 7 a.m. for you over there. What's up, Matthew uh, and Matt, both of you. Thanks uh, everybody who's watching this now, everybody who's watching the replay later on. Um, I'm gonna have a sip of coffee and then I'm gonna tell you what today's community update is going to look like while more people flow in here. So if um, you're chatting in here already, if you're already here, coffee or tea and uh, let me know coffee or tea and in why coffee um in why is why coffee and why is tea so bad so let me know in the chat all right <clears throat> i always do that i have coffee and then i'm like i need a sip of water now all right so this community update is going to look a little bit different <laughs> Lemon lime Gatorade, ice water with lemon. Those I said coffee or tea. Ice water, April. Come on, people. Uh, coffee or tea, and why is coffee better? That's that's really all I need to know. I wish Mark was here to back up back me up. Uh, Richard, he's an avid coffee drinker, from what I know, on his Instagram. Um, okay, cool. Exactly. All right, so sorry, I'm getting distracted by chat and getting distracted by the different layout I'm going to do today. So it's it was like just not long ago um, that I did a community update with a um, a slide deck. So I'm going to do something a little bit different this time around, and I'm going to adjust a couple of things on my screen. I will be walking through um, the circle and showing off a handful of community update pieces instead of just like doing the slide deck that uh, doesn't do um, a whole lot of content. It doesn't give a, lot, a whole lot of context. So I'm gonna work on sharing my screen here and I'll see if I can share my entire uh, window on this side. <clears throat> oh, tried to join and no sound and video is really small. I'm curious if others are having the same issue. So it looks and sounds like everything's coming through on my end. Um, but Tim, you're in IT, uh, the IT space, and so fix it. It's probably one of your six monitors or three different computer devices on your desktop right now um, that's giving you some errors. So um, I like to always start this way. I always start the community updates with why we exist. And um, I just remind people that um, the reason that we're here is to create this space um, where we can all connect together and collaborate. Uh, it's a dedicated and curious community of Logos users designed to build relationships with those on the same path so that we can efficiently level up our study of God's word together. And that's that was the heart um, when we started to migrate some things over from Facebook and um, from our website into this space here. Um, but this this whole idea of uniting people together and deepening our faith in um, the study of God's word using Logos is Really what this is all about, I fell in love with uh, Logos and I fell in love with uh, the people that use Logos. And so I thought this would be cool to create this space. And so far it's like not been a very triggering community. What I mean is uh, there's a lot of respect and love and mutual concern throughout. And so differing opinions, backgrounds, uh, denominations, everything, it seems like uh, folks are able to stay on the same page and really just point towards uh, Christ and discussions and studies and questions and all of the above. So um, that's it. That's the first thing I wanted to make sure that I that I talk about. In these tabs, if you see the tabs in my browser here, that is uh, tipping my hand a bit to show you what we're going to be talking about today. So I will be moving on to the next point which is we now have um, an annual plan. So not long ago, uh, I started to clean things up with, uh, we had legacy plans, early bird plans, we had uh, pro plus plans, we had like 
eight different plans and I streamlined everything. And I was like, this was all way too confusing. We had like four different pricing um, and all these different pricings had uh, access to different parts of the circle and all that jazz. And so I created the uh, monthly plan here for pro plan, 99 a month, gave you access to pretty much everything that's gated, um, the advanced help from our coaches, the courses, the webinars, the replay options. Um, I might be missing something, but it's that's kind of unlocking all of the circle in full. So I did a little survey the other day and I read those surveys. I always see what people will say. Once a month, I drop the survey into the community and uh, I ask what people would like to see changed or how they'd like to see the community improved and uh, bring back the annual plan was a request. And so I brought it back with a discount. So it's just saving what, $20 a year or something like that if you were to sign up for the the pro plan. So any questions about that, don't be afraid to drop that in the chat, but we have the annual plan back in the uh, options for the pro plan. That's cool. Super exciting. So the other thing I wanted to mention is webinars. We have uh, this webinar that just dropped yesterday. It took place yesterday, I think at 7.30 Eastern time. Um, Rylan walked us through Logos data sets and that was like a lot um for someone if, whether you're a beginner or even i saw some comments too that was like i already kind of understand data sets but I, I i learned a lot of new things and i'll be digging in um some more so if you didn't get a chance to watch that pro plan um webinar then um know that the replay is available inside of the pro plan replay section as well so i can point that out um but i'm actually navigate i'm in that space right now so in the uh live streams in logos demos section if i move this over here uh, under training videos pro webinar archive it's 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 in there um, or you could just use the search feature um, and type in data sets and if you're a pro plan member then you've got access to that and uh yeah that's that um i'll mention later on that we have a seven day free trial for pro plan and so if you want to watch this webinar and watch all the webinars and watch as much um, training as you can um, in a seven day window, go for it. Turn on um, that seven day pro plan trial, try it out. Um, and I hope that we can win you to stay there. So, something else I wanted to mention about webinars is that we uh, have the next webinar slated for October 9th. So, October 9th, at the same time as this previous webinar um we'll be covering the canvas tool in detail so if um diagramming text or mapping out ideas and digging into uh, a passage or an idea um, visually is something that is compelling to you then make sure you don't miss the upcoming webinar october 9th we'll be of course dropping notifications and all that jazz creating the event um very soon for that so that's it on the webinar front Something I wanted to mention, uh, point out is around the web section. I keep coming back to this um, because I don't know that folks realize how much content is in here. So what I've done here is I've collapsed all of them, right? <clears throat> so I collapsed all the different sections. Um, I'll take a step back. Around the web is our effort to consolidate all the training videos that we can find around the web into one feed so that you have access to them and you can even keep a tally of which videos you've watched and haven't watched and you can comment and ask questions on these different videos and so i'm just going to open up um one of them so it's actually it's cool there's more than just training videos like um upgrade options so what does it look like to upgrade your logos and what are best suggestions to do so if i hit this little arrow and drop down uh right on thanks thanks april uh, thanks, Matt, for pointing that out. April is one of our coaches, and she is like scanning the web all the time for new videos to add to this section. So um, here are a whole lot of buyer guides and things to know for upgrading. Here's just all sorts of helpful information around upgrading your um, Logos library. And that's just one of the sections here. So there's resources, like specific resources and commentary sets. Uh, there are reviews about the different platform or, or about logos uh, 10 here 
and I could keep going, but there's all kinds of uh, helpful webinars and training videos that are found on different websites, on uh, YouTube channels, on different blogs, uh, and, and we just try to collect them all into this section here called Around the Web. And this is available free. You don't have to be on a pro plan to get access to this. It wouldn't make sense for us to gate other people's content, uh, especially if it's free around the web right now. So I want to make men mention of Around the Web. And I will see if I can uh, back up a little bit here. So to navigate to Around the Web, if you're here in the circle, uh, or if this is your first week in the circle, um, the left side here is your navigation menu. And under training videos, so you have groups, you have, you have courses, and underneath the training videos section, you have Around the Web. So that will give you um, the ability to just scroll through them. But something else to mention, of course, I keep mentioning this, is all of these videos are, um, you could use the search bar and look that way um, for these videos as well. So if I just did bronze packages, bronze, well, I spelled it wrong, bronze package, um, you'll notice in the search that buyer's guide around the web, this popped up right here. And if I click on this sucker right here, open it up, I can watch it right from here. It's not going to kick me over to YouTube. I can just uh, watch this video from right here. So once again, thanks, April, for that. And be sure to check out Around the Web if you haven't. All right. So I wanted to highlight a number of events that have happened, will happen, um, or are being added right now. So <clears throat> if you're here and you're watching this, you likely have found your way through the events calendar or you've got an events notification. These are some other events that you can sign up for on different, on the pro plan or on the free plan. So the um, office hours right here, this is just office hours. This is a 30 minute um, window. This one is free to all um, that you can jump in and ask questions. And if there aren't any questions, what I like to do is just pull logos open and explore something that I, maybe haven't been into lately or that I've been using lately that I find helpful. And, and so those have been uh, times where I learn new things and others uh, work together. We all learn things, new things together. So I do my own office hours. Um, and then I have, uh, it looks like Michelle here, uh, he has one scheduled for October 3rd. He has a new recurring slot um, for those on the other side of the globe <laughs> uh, because it's 6 a.m. for me. but um, it looks like it works for a few others. And then um, Matt and I, who is here still, it looks like. Uh, Matt and I also share one every other Friday. And so this is the one that Matt and I do here. Uh, you'll see is gated for Logos Help from Coaches. It's on the pro plan. And so um, a couple of these events are for pro, pro plan members only, but I like to do uh, just a 30 minute session that anybody can hop into. Um, it's just we share our screen and we um, share questions and just talk through logos together. So another event series that I wanted to point out was the book club. And so the book club has um, chat every, uh, every Thursday and it has a book club video discussion every Monday. And so we're reading a book together. I'll talk about that next. Actually, we're reading a book together as a community and you are more than welcome to uh, join that for free and talk about the book together. Um, again, it's respectful and it seems like um, it's just a space where we can talk about uh, different things and navigate the scriptures together uh, without anybody being too mean. Uh, all right. And then the other thing uh, that hasn't, I haven't seen too many new members pop in recently, but I did want to point out the uh, welcome new members uh, event as well as the member spotlight. So. Welcome new members. This happens, I think, once a month now. Let me double check. This um, repeats every three weeks. This is a time if you're new here and you'd just like to get a tour of the community in more detail and then meet some others, including myself. You could get to know some other members. Uh, you can hop in there. And then the member spotlight. Let's see. I think we've done like six member spotlights now. The member spotlight is a time where I put one person on the hot seat. Here we go, member spotlight, one, two, three, four, five, six. Put, put a member on the spotlight and ask them, or on the hot seat and ask them some questions about their own story. 
their own testimony, how they use Logos. We share our screen again and just walk through their specific use cases. So layouts for courses is one, sermon prep is another. Um, apologetics, uh, David and I talked a little bit about, um, about that. So there's different things that we dig into there, but I do have the next two scheduled. Um, well, one and a half, Mike Colburn, we're almost there. We're like right there. And then Richard, um, well, I have the next two halfway scheduled. <laughs> I've got the next two folks, um, but it's not all the way locked in just yet. So, uh, member spotlights, be on the lookout for that as well. So that's a lot of different events to be mindful of, but I'm going to zoom out once again and just say events tab, check this out. There's a lot of things happening and I'd like to see you in some of those office hours for sure. So I mentioned the book club. Uh, I'm going to keep this tab open now. Tim um, kind of heads up the whole book club and make sure that we have the next book ready every month. Um, she, he is uh, usually point on a lot of these events that we're doing um, for book club discussions. And he has also created a reading plan inside of your logos. And so if you're in the Circles Faith Life group, you can have access to the actual um, reading plan and you can just copy and paste it over or you can create it on your own and follow along. But um, this is found inside of the Theology Hub and you can get access to that reading plan document and add it to your own Logos library. So I wanted to make sure I point that out. Next month's book is, there it is, uh, The Lord's Supper, Five Views on the Lord's Supper. So we'll be doing that in October. I think that's it on that one. All right, so then there's this course that we've been talking about um, and I'm going to share a little bit more of the vision behind it. Okay, so I'm going to close all of these for one second. <clears throat> so we have a new course that we'll be working on building further in the background, and this is called the Path to Pro. So the vision behind Path to Pro um, is it's kind of just one of my brain ideas. We'll try it and see if it works. Is a lot of these courses you go through by yourself. And you may even just kind of like fade off and then not complete or you go through them and then you think you think I've got some more questions about um, the content that was inside of the course. And so you kind of wish that you could unpack what was shared inside of the course. So that's one element of this path to pro course. The other element is a lot of us, um, if you were to, if you were asked where on a spectrum of novice to advanced thank you sanjay for having me flip proficient in advance on a spectrum of novice to advanced where do you fall in your use of logos and so this course will help you i hope <clears throat> to better understand where you're at and just how efficient you are in your logos journey so um as we walk through um, 101, 201, 301, and 401, there will be, um, well, for starters, each, each section will be unlocked at a time, at a certain time. So, uh, approximately two weeks to go through each of the, uh, collection of videos. And then at the close of it will be a quiz to just kind of reflect on everything that you've learned. And there'll also be regular events so that you can hop in with others and say, you know, I tried that and it didn't work or can we go a little bit deeper here? Um, and so each of these, now that you have a little bit more context to this particular cohort style course, each of these will end with a quiz. And then each of these will have uh, different videos and um, written descriptions that go alongside of them. So this will be um, a month or two, you know, journey. And by the end of it, uh, my goal is to get you to use Logos as well and efficient as like Michelle uses logos so <laughs> or uh, ryland or um matt april mike richard etc so as well as um all of these folks who are in it and use it at an, at an advanced level as well as uh sanjay etc so as well as everybody else uses it um and you wish that there was a few different areas um that that you could make more use of so um this was put on pause for a month while uh, we played with a whole different feature uh, that AI um, tool, um, but that 
isn't the most helpful tool. I think that this is much more in line with our vision and strategy, and this is where uh, we'll be going to be putting our focus going forward. So that's it. I just wanted to show you a little bit more behind um, the scenes of, of this course, this Path to Pro. So you have the course material here. You have the different um, sections that will unlock in a timely manner. We'll be able to chat together, have course events, and um, each of these will close with quizzes. So lots of fun. I think that that will help us to explore Logos in a new way. And that's that's the path to pro. So look for that to be coming out um, rather soon. And then um, a, I guess a quick note on that as we start to, to close things down here is that this is available for uh, pro plan members. All of the work that's going to be going into this, uh, we'll be gating this for the pro plan members. And <clears throat> so you could do like a trial or something like that if you wanted to, or just hop on board and support the work that we're doing, which, <clears throat> Reminds me um, of the last point here, which is just make sure that you try that pro plan out if you haven't yet. So uh, just within the last week, I, up, I uh, upped the trial period from three days to seven days. And so if you um, would like to give the pro plan a try, go for it. It's a seven day free trial and it unlocks a lot of pretty much everything that I've been talking about right here, um, as well as uh, that's everything, actually. It unlocks everything <laughs> uh, inside of the circle. So um, I think that just about wraps up um, what's happening in the circle. I hope that this format was a little more helpful than, than some slides. I know that um, there's, a, there's a few other things that I could share, like if the membership is continuing to grow. The engagement inside of the circle is uh, continuing to grow. We have uh, more pro plan signups, which is extremely encouraging. And uh, I'm just excited about where we're going. I think that this this is the pro plan and the path of pro is going to be some cool stuff. So if you have any questions, um, don't be afraid to ask me directly or I'll just hang out here for a hot second. And you guys can just uh, you guys can just look at um, there's a photo of my wife and I sort of it's a cartoon version. Uh, see what else if, uh, if I can point out while I wait for any questions to come in. There's a printer. Do you remember those? Um, every now and then someone needs one. You can print something out. And then I took these photos. <laughs> I took these photos uh, and then I printed them out there. So, and that's a whiteboard. You can barely read it, I hope. Uh, it has some Logos Daily notes on it actually. So, all right, everybody, thanks for catching it live. And thanks for those who watched the replay. Um, I'm Jason Stone, founder of The Circle, and if you have any questions, please, 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 please uh, send me a note, and I will make sure that I, I help you out, steer you in the right direction. So uh, bless you, and enjoy your weekend as you head into it. Take care.